Hi there, I'm Eric with Future Looks. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the Ace Rock P55 Extreme 4 motherboard. This is one of the newer, newest of their uh, P55 series. The supports USB 3 and uh, SATA 3, or six gigabit per second. It has extra USB bundled components with it. Uh, you'll find this board supports uh, Core i3, i5, and i7 LGA 1156 processors. Some of the other features this board uh, offers is uh, 2600 megahertz uh, DDR3 support. Of course, that is for overclocking. It also has uh, OC tuner software, which uh, helps uh, achieve your uh, stable overclock, as well as OC DNA. Other things that this uh, board also supports are THX uh, True Studio Pro. Uh, and that's because uh, this board actually has a Realtek ALC 892 audio codec. Um, typically we see an ALC 889 or an 888 series. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this one works out. So let's uh, reposition here real quick. And we're gonna look through the components and see what's inside. All right, inside here we've got some documentation for installation, uh, how to set up uh, some of the software features that are in here. Uh, that come on the disc, uh, your BIOS setup guide, quick reference manual, a more detailed installation guide, your CD with your drivers and whatnot. It's uh, a little extra four inch uh, bay here for your system. It's uh, USB 3.0 ports that kind of help work, uh, add a little feature to your case. Uses a proprietary connector that will be, that's on the motherboard itself your I.O. shield, four orange SATA cables which work with both SATA 2 and SATA 3 devices, your legacy 1970s <laughs> uh, floppy disk cable and ATA cables, some extra power cables for SATA, and your Crossfire and SLI bridge. Inside here we have the nicely packaged motherboard. A uh, cool little uh, feature here, these guys have included a sticker here that helps you set up your memory. You want to keep that around so you know how to configure your memory that you have in your system. Uh, another sticker for USB 3.0. So you notice it's got some blue heat sinks uh, around the voltage. Uh, all the circuits that provide the power for your CPU socket, the ones that are most important for overclocking and whatnot. This one this particular board actually supports uh, both SLI and Crossfire X video cards. You've got two slots here. They're 16x slots, but with NVIDIA that's 8x by 8x. You have your six SATA ports here on the back, four SATA 3 ports up near the memory uh, DIMM slots. You also notice we have an onboard reset and power button. These are always helpful, as well as a post LED. So you know if something's not working properly on your board, you know what to adjust. A couple PCI slots, three PCI Express uh, mini slots. And again, this one's this board supports the uh, has a, or offers in the Realtek ALC 892 codec, and uh, you'll be utilizing that through your analog ports or your optical SPDIF out. You have one eSATA external, a couple uh, USB 3.0 by the blue and your standard USB legacy. The CMOS clear switch here in the back, that comes in pretty handy if you're doing some overclocking, something doesn't work right, you don't have to open your system anymore, you can just press the button in for a couple seconds and it'll reset your BIOS. So all in all, basically that's your, that's the P55 Extreme 4 from Ace Rock. So we'll uh, give this one a test out. Uh, feel free to keep reading on.